Kill this guy. Kill, kill this guy and his fucking brother. Nobody is going to kill me. I was going to say he's going to get me. Listen, sorry boy, the quicker you talk, the quicker this is all over. Do you understand? <laughs> so you mean you weren't trying? <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. Seriously. Oh. You didn't make it past the white belt in karate, did you? Break it! Reagan, Samuel is our guest. We should treat him with some respect. In my culture, hospitality is something we pride ourselves on. So let's lead by example, shall we? Fresh nougat? Mm -mm. Thought your mother would have taught you some manners. You look a little worse for there, Samuel. Time hasn't been kind to you, has it? Where is it? Where's what, Crush? I'm not a man that asks twice, Samuel. How am I meant to tell you? If I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's about time you learned those manners. <sighs> you and your crew found your way to the Oxus River, and you found 44 of those pieces, correct? All that was left is the king's bracelet. Where is it? It's your city. You tell me. Less. You don't know where it is either. Ah, so you don't know where it is, but you know what it is. Look, I know I got mixed up with the wrong people before, some of your old associates. But I thought, with you and your brother's track record, I could expect a little bit more from you. So we're done here? I don't know. Are we done here, Nathan? Or shall I call you Nathan Morgan? For that was your birth name, correct? Hmm. I'm sure Mr. Sullivan has told you all about me, huh? No, 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 no. no. It's just me, Kurosh. I swear I'll tell you. Tell me what, Samuel. You've got nothing. Even the name that you and your brother lay claim to is stolen. Wasn't this lost in the sands? Who's saying it's real? You're nothing but a useless thief. <laughs> no, eyes up here, Samuel. <laughs> Thief like his brother. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna be taking him now. Sammy, you okay? Yeah. I'm good, little brother. This place is great. You know, just like Fiji. Uh huh. Two, three! Sorry, sorry.
Rape! Stay out of Persia! Last of Us. Hmm. Let's see what all the fuss is about. she make this thing go?
Sorry, sorry. Sully. <laughs> Nathan? Me? Dear God, what's happened to you? Sully. I'm fine. Yeah, I can tell. Sully, listen. I found it. Nate, you need to let this go. How can I? Not all of us can move on as quickly as you. Look, what happened to Sam, I should Save it. I don't want to hear your apologies about it ever again. Kid, I wasn't trying to... I'm not your kid, Sully! You're the best thief I know. And I just need your expertise. Nate, stop. Look, I found the last piece of the Oxus. You and Sam had it wrong from the start. Well, kind of. So, there are 180 pieces of the Oxus treasure. Three quarters of which were dug up in the 1880s by Indian merchants who were digging along the Oxus River. Yeah. Who then tried to smuggle it through Afghanistan but get caught. Right. Then the British captain, Francis C. Burton, hears about it, buys it from them, donates it to the British Museum. Who Karush then buys. Exactly. And that's why you guys went back to the original dig site near the Oxus River to retrieve most of the remaining 45 pieces. Damn it, Nate. This is exactly what led to the death of your brother. There's still one piece missing. Yeah, the king's bracelet. Yeah, it's gotta be there. I just don't know why you even care. Because it's not at the river. It's in Bactria. Tajikistan? Exactly. How could one solitary piece of the treasure turn up there? In the Persian Empire, you needed to present a token. Let's just say a gift for safe passage to Bactria. Because that's where most of the king's treasures were kept. Keep in mind, that tradition never stopped. What if the Indian merchants traded a single piece of treasure for safe passage through Afghanistan? Traded it to who? I mean, nomads were starting to migrate from the desert up north in the 1880s, but what if they were promised safe passage and when things went south, they bailed? I mean, all the known stomping grounds of the early nomads of the jungle regions of Bactria, which is just north of Afghanistan. That's pretty slick. How do you know Karush hasn't found him? Point is, Sully, this is the closest lead I've had in months. Why are you even looking, Nate? Why aren't you on that expedition with Elena right now? She's been worried about you. She just wants to be sure that she's got a husband to come back to. Yeah, she, she didn't need me. Oh, that's bullshit, Nate. She needs you. And I needed you, old man. I tried to help. You want to help? Make up for not being enough to save Sam. But I had to go save him. Just help me now, Sully. I need someone who knows the terrain and who's dealt with Karush, just in case he shows up. That's all. Now, I know you have a map of the Oxus River. I'm gonna need you to hand that over. Maps aren't the problem, Nate. Karush is. See? There. That look in your eye. That is exactly why I will not help you. You are gonna die like your brother. Is that what you want? Sully, just look at the notes. This isn't worth it, kid. Shut up! We have been to hell and back together. Found the greatest lost treasures in human history. But you seem to forget. We always walk away with nothing. Your luck is about to run out. Karush is one of the most powerful, wealthiest men in the world. He's taken over the Wraith and Talbot organizations, and he doesn't even have an army. And do you know why? Because he doesn't need one. He is the embodiment of human strength, intelligence, and sheer will. That couple with a few mercenaries is all he needs to fulfill his deluded fantasy of restoring the Persian Empire to its former glory. You don't understand what you're talking about. I will be fine, just as long as I have your help, Sully. Sam had my help, and now he's gone. I won't bury another Drake. Listen to me. Whether the bracelet's in Bactria or in the Oxus, doesn't make any difference. It belongs to Karush. Why do you even want it anyway? What was I thinking? Come to an old, crippled man who's clearly lost his touch. Bye, Victor. Nate. Nate. Nate! Mr. Sullivan's out of the equation. Well, 
That went well. What the? I assume that Mr. Sullivan will not be uh, accompanying Nathaniel. Is that right? No. No, he won't. Mm. Uh, Crank. Crank? Yes, boss. Yes. That's me. Mm. Prepare the hero. We'll rendezvous with Reagan and Bactria. Right away, sir. I'm on it. So he's back at Poye and Nancy. Seven three six two five one. Wait. Smart kid.
normal pizza guys. How's the shoulder, pal? Oh. Oh. Mr. Drake, oh. thank you for having us. It's been too long. Well, not long enough. I get the hell out of my apartment. Your apartment? Not Elena Fisher's? That's right. She's on her way home. <laughs> you guys are so screwed. You're on American soil, pal. This ain't Iran. Firstly, Mr. Drake, it's Iran, and it's bold of you to assume that I frequently visit my motherland. For decades, it has been occupied by fanatical pirates. I thought you were on top of your history, Mr. Drake. But to be fair, you aren't known for your wits. Oh, I've got plenty of wit, pal. And for Butch and Sundance, too. No, Mr. Drake, neither Crank nor Reagan or I will be leaving. In fact, you will be begging me to stay in your sights. Ah, because of your amazing personality? No, because of the JMI Nautilus Explorer currently sailing on the coast of Argentina. A daring expedition for Miss Fisher, huh? It gets cold in the South Atlantic this time of year, doesn't it? I prefer tropical weather. She's been sailing with your crew for the past few weeks. Docking at Buenos Aires every Monday to replenish for supplies. And you were supposed to go with her, weren't you? Pity, because Crank says that she's been trying to call you every- Stop! Day. Just, what do you want? You, Nathaniel, I want you to help me find the Oxus. Help me complete my collection for my- You're still on about that. It's lost. It's gone. Move on. That's just why I want you to find it. Sam couldn't even find it. He tried for months. Until you killed him. Until he failed me. Nathan, listen. You have admirable skills. But you haven't been noble with them. You know this. I want to give you an opportunity to be a part of something meaningful. I gave Sam the same deal that I am going to give to you. What are you talking about? It would never work for a psychopath like you. I regret what happened to Sam. Truly. So I would hate to pay Miss Fisher a visit no, if you do. No, 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 no. I don't know where to start. Well, Sully had seen his map last time I saw. No, 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 not Sully. Please. You don't have it in you to do it alone, Nathaniel. Not anymore. Get Sully, find the King's bracelets. You have two weeks. And no harm will come to Elena. That I can promise. And she will never have to know of our deal. Except for the fact that you helped another man bring back some honor and integrity to their history and people. Okay. Okay. Just please don't hurt my family. Please. You have my word, Mr. Drake. You have my word. Hey kid, yeah, listen, it's Nate. 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 Nate, you ready to go? Yeah.
much further. Crank! No way. What, you found him? Yeah. Look. See? Over there. In that tree. It's a brown-headed gull. Look at that. Look at I, that right I there. Mean, look, it, it's not like it? Drake, but it's cool. I mean, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. Look. I mean, yeah, but we're, we're kind of ready to find him. I really don't know. I've got two left. Yeah, you might finish the leaflet before we finish the search. <laughs> it's not really up to us, is it? Where's Drake supposed to be by now, anyway? We've been here for hours. What the fuck are you doing? No, I don't want one. Pilot said the, uh... I heard Drake say something about a waterfall or... or a waterbed or... I don't know. It's hard to talk with broken teeth. <laughs> uh, mm. So we, uh... So we stop him before he gets to the waterfall? No. Before the waterbed? No, Crank. We... We stop him after he gets the oxus. So we stop him after the waterfall. Who said he's in the waterfall, you idiots? You said it, Reagan. No, Crank, I said to get him after he gets the oxus, which could be after the waterfall, after the waterbed. Or a creek. Yes, Crank, a creek is a waterbed. <laughs> no, nah, Regan. He's by a creek. Oh, Crank, you beautiful dumb idiot. Crank can't even read a map. Is Boss sure about this guy? He seems as dumb as his brother. It's not our call, man. All we've got to do now is follow him. And for the love of God, will you stop eating? Day 36, we have yet to find over half of the remaining Oxus treasures. Exploring along the river has led us through the mountain ranges. Hopefully, the lack of signal buys us time away from Karusha's thugs. Making it past the old gun ranges, we found two cuffs that belong to the Persian queen, or at least Sully thinks it does. Who knows? Although I gotta say, I've never seen a view like this. I wish Nate was here to see it. He'd love it. Day 42. Heading north through the shores, we have found the final remaining pieces. We're so close. I can feel it. You're so close, little brother. You're almost there.
Sam went west. He's actually probably north. Or south. Damn it, Sully, why didn't you give me those maps? <sighs> Screw it. North. Go find the Oxus, they said. It'd be a good idea, they said. God damn it! <laughs> Holy crap. Is that a mold? Such a night.
Jesus. Hey, come on. Wake up. No, not him. He. Oh, God, I pity your wife. Having to wake up to that mustache every single day. Nightmare. How amusing, Mr. Drake. Has Sully heard that one before? Look, I apologize about all this, but call it a insurance policy. Welcome to Persepolis. What, are you serious? You're just gonna take it from him without even saying thank you. You know how hard these boys are to... Oh, get slapped again. You guys must love that one. Mr. Drake, I would be more than happy to never see you again. No wonder your wife left. Ouch! That one hurt more than the slap. I'll give you that, pal. I don't understand. I mean, in fairness, you aren't exactly known for your wit. Oh, I'm sorry, wit. Well, I found those by the waterfall and the waterbed surrounding it. I told you we should have gone before the waterfall. There is no way that you're starting this right now. We're busy. Do I have to spell it out for you, Freddie Mercury? I thought you were the smartest, richest guy on the planet, and yet here I am, a washed-up thief, explaining to you how a mold works. Why would they mold the king's bracelets? Because it looked cool, Karush. That's it. The nomads took it as payment from the merchants from India, double-crossed them with the warlords from Afghanistan, and ran. They then made jewelry out of a shitty mold formed out of stone. They then sold it to the British to get by until they got into a firefight with some people with guns. And that was that. So death. How dare they? The king's bracelet is an important They didn't care, Karush. Okay, to them it was a trinket that made for a nice bracelet to sell. In fact, that bracelet along with most of the ox's treasures were cast out of molds just like that one and sold all over the Middle East. It's not even Persian. Hey! That was an anniversary gift from Elena. The king's bracelet must be here somewhere. Go back to where you grabbed him and find it! You're not getting it, Karush. No, you don't get it, Nate. Aw, oh, it's the first time you called me Nate. That's so sweet. Is that a sweet? I thought you were a man of your word. And I thought that Sam and Nathan Drake were some of the best treasure hunters in the world. But I guess the Drake name dies with you today. I mean, I found what happened to it. Why do you care? No, you found nothing! Samuel found the other 44 pieces, and you're supposed to find the last one! So kill me. You don't fear death, do you? You just can't help yourself. Neither do my brother. He made that deal to protect me, didn't he? get you the 45 treasures of Persia, and you wouldn't kill his baby brother. He failed, you took your shot, and you fucking missed. Word of advice, Karush? Don't miss this time. When Crank and Reagan come back with the treasure, you will see. Maybe then you'll understand that I have just completed the greatest collection of treasures from the Persian Empire. I doubt they'll find it. Oh, I have utmost faith that they would pick up where you left off. <laughs> I mean, they might get lucky, but I doubt it. Your failure has cost you your family, Mr. Drake. You know that. At least I have people that care about me. And that's all a man can ask for. Rush! 
At least I'm gonna die knowing what happiness is, you spoiled prick! seen the boss like this before. Well, maybe she was so focused on trying to find birds, he wouldn't be so crazy right now. I thought it was a parrot, all right? I tried to be reasonable with you, Drake. I tried to be reasonable with you. Look what you've done, Drake. Elena's blood is on your hands. Wake up. Oh. Hey, mate. Come on. Get up. Oh, come on, kid. What? Come on. Christ, so I took you so long. I don't know. Come on. This ain't nowhere to the ladder. Let's go. Tabs on me. No, Sully! No, no, Sully, hey, come on, we gotta go. We got oh. Come on, hey, you don't wanna do this. It's over. I do. No, you don't. I really do! No, you do. Hey, hey, stop! It's over! You win! You win, okay? Just let him go. Take me. Your family dies first. I dragged You're him gonna in. You're gonna watch this. your family I dragged die him in first! You take me! Look, I found the mold. The oxes can't be far. Just let him go. It's okay, man. No, it's Sully. Just shut up. I will get us out of this. Just shut up. Whoa. No, no, no. Hey, come on. Come on, please. Please, just take me. Okay? I beg of you. Okay, kid. I had a good one. Sully, shut up, okay? I'm gonna get us out of this. Just stop. I love you, kid. Sully! Sully! No! Sully! Sully! Are you okay? I'm fine, kid. I'm fine. Oh, I don't understand. Who the hell was that? <laughs> no! Oh, sorry, sorry. Elena? What the hell are you doing here? Well, cowboy, Sully said you're in trouble. That's it. You called her and told her I was in trouble, and she came to rescue me. We both came to rescue you, genius. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for pushing you both away after Sam. Just, this never would have happened if I had gone on the expedition hey, with you. It's okay. You needed time. I understood. I love you, May. Hey, Sully, where are you going? You two have got a lot of making up to do. Besides, I gotta get some acupuncture. No thanks to you. Just make sure to send me the bill, you old fox. Sure. As if you could afford it. You would never guess what we found in Buenos Aires. Oh, really? Was the captain's coffin there? Mm-hmm. You should have seen what was left inside. Really? I got pictures. <sighs> Gross. Of course you did. Sully. Yeah? How's he doing? You know, sore, but happy. You okay? You know, I thought I lost Sam once. When he came back, I swore that I'd be here for him. No matter what. 
so did I. He's our family. Just don't know how that monster could have taken him from me. He made that deal to protect me and he just... He died for nothing. He didn't die for nothing. He died protecting you. You're his baby brother. That's worth more than any treasure he could have ever found.